Taylor Frankie Paul is a 28-year-old TikToker who is famous for her lip-syncing videos and parenting videos. She's been in a couple of dramas in the past, including getting divorced from her husband for cheating on him while they were soft swinging with other TikTokers. Well, it appears Taylor Frankie Paul was allegedly arrested recently, which was shocking for all her fans. But what she got arrested for is worse than what anyone could imagine. It had to do with her allegedly throwing a chair at her current partner Dakota and it missing and hitting her very young daughter. So this whole drama is currently trending on TikTok. People are like, what happened? How did it happen? And was she under the influence? As we can see here, the last that Taylor apparently posted on TikTok, according to TikTok detectives, was a video of her saying that she was going to a Galentine's Day party, dressed as her type of man. And as we can see, her and all her mom friends were dressed as dudes that they were interested in. This TikTok however has been removed from her account and what happened later that night caused the series of events that led her to getting arrested. So the cause of her arrest was obviously leaked online. This is a bit blurry, it was leaked on TikTok but the document states under the charges of the reasons for her arrest were a criminal mischief, and DV, and the presence of a child. All the women who attended this party have obviously posted videos and photos online of the night. Nothing too out of the ordinary, just Taylor looking very drunk. It turns out, though, that someone who attended the party went on to Reddit, allegedly, and was spilling the tea about what exactly happened that night. The rumoured friend of Taylor had said, her and Dakota got into a huge argument and were screaming at each other. Taylor threw a chair at him and it hit Indy. Dakota called the cops. Don't ask how I know. TikToker Thoughts with Gracie actually called up the Salt Lake City Sheriff's Department asking for information regarding Taylor's arrest and if she had been let out on bail. So Amanda and Steph with the Deeds have made videos along with other TikTok pop culture analysts about Taylor Frankie Paul being arrested at her Galentine's day party and I was having trouble finding this so I called the Salt Lake Sheriff's Department up and boy do I got the tea. So the guard that I was talking to said that she was released on a pre-trial supervised release. And I asked what that entailed and it normally means coming in no contact or having a no contact policy with the victim. Now, Amanda made a video talking about how Dakota, Taylor Frankie Paul's boyfriend, called the police because she screamed at him. She threw a chair and it ended up hitting her daughter. Now, the three charges that they told me she had was domestic violence assault, domestic violence, criminal mischief, and domestic violence in front of a child. I'm wondering if she's gonna have to stay away from Dakota or her child, because the chair hit her child, but Dakota was the one who called the police. So which victim does she have to stay away from? Now, it turns out that Taylor was arrested at 3.56 a.m. on the 18th of Feb and released at 12.35 p.m. on the 18th of Feb on alleged DV charges. So it's unknown whether or not she's allowed near Dakota or her children. So apparently online when you type in Taylor's boyfriend's name, the first thing that pops up is this article titled Taylor Frankie Paul's new boyfriend at Dakota Mortensen is a recovering addict from Idaho. Dakota is currently a successful real estate agent, but Taylor Frankie Paul has been downward spiraling way back since the drama of her cheating that led to her divorce. And the very night that she was caught cheating on her husband, she was actually quote unquote in her own words blackout drunk that night. Get there, I take, I'm taking shots like no other, like, and I, I black out. So I don't remember much of the house. I just remember fighting with Tate about something. Um, one of them's like, hey, can I come pick you up? And I was like, I think that's kind of inappropriate, you know, you know, me and this man. And then he's like, no, like, my wife said I can, and so he comes and picks me up, and that's the night I mess up. It's also interesting because throughout the podcast, she says that she and her swinging TikTok mom friends and their partners would all catch up at least twice a week, and there would be a lot of drinking involved. And then you were already pretty plastered drunk that yeah, night. Yeah, like I can remember very few bits and pieces like of it, but I, I do remember like. And yeah, pretty much everyone started lying to everyone. But of course, on social media, Taylor was made out to be the only bad guy because she was honest about her cheating and dishonesty, whereas nobody else was. Um, I was one of them. There are several of us that caught, or I guess a few of us that caught feelings involving all of this, but I was one of them, yes. Again, people are gonna come out and deny it. I'm not really worried about it. It's my truth. I'll be free after this. I don't wanna talk about it after this. Um, they're gonna come out and deny it and that's okay. I don't care anymore if they're gonna deny it. Um, my husband, or Tate and I know the truth. 
he knows it, I know it, and so we're able to move on now that everything's out of the bag for us. We're free at this point, um, and you're only hearing bits and pieces, and that's why I look like the complete bad guy here, and that's fair. Like, I did mess up, and I, I will own that, but I, there are other things involved, other people. Taylor was also recently in the news for exposing how messy her house was, which is irrelevant to the situation because how messy someone's house is isn't a depiction of how good of a person they are, but it certainly shows that she is and has been suffering for a while mentally and probably isn't getting the help she needs from the people around her. So a few weeks ago, Taylor Frankie Paul posted this TikTok that reads, your room is a reflection of your mind. It just recently was picked up by many news outlets such as Page Six and Daily Mail. The TikTok shows her house, which is clearly in need of some TLC. The comments on this TikTok were very divided. Some were praising Taylor for being so open and some very negative comments. Even her mom said, scary, that gives me anxiety just seeing it. But one thing I have noticed from the negative comments and the news outlets who are reporting on this TikTok is that they're failing to realize or even mention that Taylor is coming from a very hard place. Like we know she likes to joke around about the swinging drama, but just recently she opened up how she had an ectopic pregnancy. So the fact that she's even up and functioning is a one, regardless of what her house looks like. What do you guys think? Taylor's mental state is obviously not in a good way at the moment. And one of the reasons for that is because she actually recently suffered from an ectopic pregnancy with Dakota. Taylor was also interviewed in another podcast recently called Weekly Trash, where she spilt the tea about her life and what was currently going down. Within this podcast, she discussed life before Tate, life after kids, swinging, divorce, Dakota, her new partner, TikTok, and more. Taylor also shared her mental health journey and how she's gotten to the place she is now. While clearly she's presently not doing well with being arrested, etc., but this is what she had to say regarding her alcohol intake and mental health on this podcast that aired two weeks ago. I stopped all of that out of respect for him and I don't want him to like have to worry about that or in something he, you know, really can't be around, right? Yeah. Like it's hard for him, so. Apparently she'd said that she's been sober since New Year's. So yeah, that's interesting. Obviously fast forward two weeks after this podcast, shit has gone down as we all know. Um, I've been like, I haven't touched it since that night and three months prior to that, like not really at all. Yeah. Um, so I've been pretty clean and yeah, for it's hard. Was, I mean, yeah, we couldn't dabble into substance, either of us, because, I mean, look what yeah. it's done. So, I, yeah, I'm feeling like a sober life is a good thing for you. Yeah. Yeah, and sober's the new thing right now. It's so, what are your thoughts on this whole drama? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more tea.